We're gathering uh, tonight uh, at a time of deep pain, but we're also gathering to celebrate the power of light to triumph over darkness. Each of the 138 candles that these families have lit represents a precious life, a person who must come home. The Hanukkah candles that we're about to light, they're a symbol of hope. They're a symbol never to give up. We remember tragedies of the past and we hope for the future to bring everyone home. The United States stands with Israel now and always, and we're committed to pursuing lasting, lasting peace and security. Let the miracle of light once again overcome the darkness of despair. And it's my honor to be here and to light the first candles with all of you. Today it's a, it's a Hanukkah holiday here in Israel and we really pray very very hard that this holiday will bring us the, will bring us the miracle that we are so waiting for to bring him home to his family that we can hug him and kiss him and just to know that he is okay we are here it's uh, something symbolic so we light the candles for the return of the hostages for the release of the hostages to make a deal for the hostages and uh, that's what we are here for and there is a holiday so it's part of all the Hanukkah holiday to call for that you know and I can call for all the world to, to press more to do everything they can I see maybe there is a deal take it do it they are dying there Yeah, you have to take it, and we're going to put it on the on Alon's piano where it's always been. Uh, and this is the first day of Hanukkah. So we do this, and we put a lot of lights at home. We haven't done that yet. I don't know because usually it, I don't know, it feels right. And the donuts. donuts which we call subganiya. Yes, yeah, subganiya. Subganiya. He loves that. He loves that. Can he that. can eat With so many. A cup of tea or coffee. Yeah, he, really he loves that. Yeah, he, he loves, loves that, that so much. Yeah. Jam donuts, right? That's what we're making now. But these are like the newer. Mm -hmm. you know, fancier ones. So he will eat it, 
but he likes this one. He will like. Yes. Yeah. Tradition is tradition. You have to continue and do just tradition. So, this is the first day of Hanukkah. Hanukkah is the festival or the holiday of light, and and not just light of miracles. And uh, I wasn't hope, I wasn't thinking that alone would still be in. Com in Gaza, uh, okay. Hirsch, Goldenberg, Vet Eli. Okay, Vershav, and Tehev to Wita Ben Shelly. The last time I heard from him was at the eighth, uh, that seventh of October at 8.08 o'clock in the morning when he sent a message. Saying that he was, um, that he was okay, was in a bomb shelter and he was fine. At that moment, uh, uh, looking back at, at how the, the whole ordeal uh, happened, it turns out that it was the exact moment when he was kidnapped because inside the bomb shelter there's no uh, phone uh, Wi-Fi. You can't, there's, you can't send messages. So he sent this before, but when he was kidnapped, he was dragged and his phone fell. So that's when we got the message. I haven't since heard from him since. I haven't, I don't know where he is or how he is or he was kidnapped when he was alive and well. <laughs> I hope to think of my son as being there not alone, being with others. And in a sense, as I know my son, you know, he, was, he always helps people and gives a hand. And I hope to see him there because I feel that if he has some kind of fulfillment of knowing that he's doing something and he makes him feel some kind of, I don't know, useful with others, um, it will help him cope. But uh, he's in our heart all the time. Even when I'm talking to you now, I'm thinking that he's here in somehow, in some way, in energy ways, and you know, in his heart. He doesn't know it's Hanukkah. I don't think he knows the days, uh, what's day, what night. I, I think he doesn't know because I don't, if he's underground, uh, he doesn't know, I think. Um. For me, it's, it's weird that he's not here at home. The fact that, um, that this is the first day of Hanukkah and it is a magical uh, holiday and maybe something will happen, like a, a miracle will happen and he will come back is helpful and he makes me feel good about it. But, um, but the fact is, is that it's very quiet at home. It's not as festive and it's not as happy as it should be. You know, it's, it's, it's very hard. Okay. 
There is um, in Hanukkah there were eight lights. There were uh, eight days of Hanukkah, and he was, it was his SMS was at eight o'clock and oh eight eight oh eight. If I show you this, is really meaning. So I think it will be a miracle. I don't know why. I think so. Maybe at the eighth day of Hanukkah. Maybe. Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kitshanu ve'mitzvotav, ve'tzihivanu ve'rachel, ve'tlochamenu Yoshua, David ve'yehuda, dvora, ya'el ve'yehudit, u'yivarech et zman hazeh. Amen. Amen. Thank you.